Jerobi is a toboggan. <laughs> <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm really enjoying this episode. Hi everyone, and welcome to another Dragon Ball reaction. Before we begin, as always, thank you to the patrons on Patreon. If you want to join us on Patreon, the link is in the description. Go check it out for early access to our footage and exclusive content like filler episodes and movies that are only on Patreon. If you're watching this on YouTube, please subscribe to this channel. Also subscribe to the ton of other channels that we have, which are all within the link in the description. Last but not least, check out our merchandise, which is also within the link in the description. Like this video, comment down below. And with all that being said, let's get started with this reaction. King Furry, you gotta stand up for your people, bro. But then again, how could you stand up against the big green alien who has superpowers? No one's stronger than Piccolo right now. Oolong's dead. <laughs> Rest in peace. <laughs> they all look terrified. Where's Gordon Ramsay? Oh, this guy has good food. He's from Shitty Walk. Oh, the disrespect. Do you really think King Piccolo would ever be satisfied with this slop? <laughs> you will prepare a new menu with all haste. Piccolo doesn't even Dishes eat. Dishes of newt manure, yeah, deep what fried the heck? eyes, fresh moose pie with dinosaur tongue, and brain pudding. Retcon right there, man. Piccolo photosynthesizes. Yeah, dish within the hour. Everything must be in order when Sire awakens from his nap. This is just a front for this pterodactyl who wants to eat all the food by herself. That's why she was like, oh, I don't like this. Make me brain pudding. <laughs> He's so sleeping with his eyes open. And sitting up straight. I wish I could do that. He spared us this time. <laughs> no laughing for an entire episode. So far. Mm -hmm. Well, I guess he can use it. I mean, sense. <laughs> He's <laughs> talking to himself. He has no one else to talk to up here. He's used to it. That's right. This water is most certainly divine. But Master Corrin, how is it any different than the sacred water... I drank a long time ago. That was tap water, kid. Actually, there is a huge difference. You see, sacred water is merely water with a kick, no magic in it. Ha! But ultra divine water is packed with mystical properties and a magical zing. Whoa! Is it just tricking if Goku? I drink ultra divine water, then I'll be super strong. Or a super hey, saiyan. Come on, master. Give me some of the ultra divine water. Please, master. Please, please. Imagine it's Corrin's tears. Some things never change. You're just as hasty as ever. I can't help it, master. You said I'd be stronger if I drink it. The water would increase your abilities. That's true. But to enjoy its benefits, you would first have to track it down. What? Ah, oh, he doesn't have it any. It is a perilous journey. Far to the north, there is a treacherous maze of ice. To obtain the water, you must first navigate through this icy labyrinth. The liquid is hidden somewhere in the cave. A maze? What's well, that? This will be a good journey. It's a complicated network of passageways with many confusing routes to choose from. It's one of the gyms from the Pokemon exit. games. It's easy enough to get in. The trick is getting out. Once inside the labyrinth, this it's scene easy is making to get me so lost. Dizzy. You can find yourself wandering aimlessly for weeks, or even years. Until you perish. Many brave explorers have attempted to navigate this path, only never to be heard from again. And they go crazy. And die. I feel bad for whoever this character is. Yeah, Jerobi's like, I'm good. Now that you know the peril involved, what will you do? Do you still wish to seek it? Mm, sure do. I'm on I'm my way. I'm not afraid of the maze. I must find the ultra divine water. You'll go with me, won't you, Yajirobi? Uh, you've got to be kidding. No way. You won't? There's no food there. Of course there. not. Why in the world would I voluntarily go to such a terrible place? You're crazy. Count me out of this one. Mm. Hey, where are you going? Downstairs. See ya. 
Is he's, he gonna jump down? No, he's moving in downstairs. <laughs> divine water. He's too lazy to climb back down, right? I'm hungry. I could use a snack. Now, where would that old cat store his food? I don't see any. Huh? The fridge. Uh, How could he be hungry? How many sensu beans does he eat? Did he eat? Suspicious. I'll bet he's got some nice, tasty morsels hidden in there. <laughs> this is not gonna go well for Yajirobe. Is that the exit? What's that? I can't make it out, but it's cold. Maybe it's ice cream. Oh <laughs> my gosh! He got ejected. And I don't have the Nimbus <laughs> How long will it take me he to get to the sky? The world? As long as it takes you to hop into that pot. Oh man! Oh, I get it. That pot's like a door, right? Dude, Yajirobe yeah, went there. Oh my time. gosh! Thanks, Master Corin. I'll see you when I get back. If you go. There's one thing you must avoid. Darkness. Mm. Don't worry. I've never feared the dark before. You will. It'll be your greatest challenge. This darkness is blacker than night. Wow. It veils the ultra divine water in illusion so cunning you may never escape its empty void once ensnared. It's like a Genjutsu. I'll keep that in mind. <gasps> <gasps> Yajirobe is about to be so upset. He's gonna start panicking from the first second that Goku arrives. He's probably gonna get Goku into trouble. <laughs> I can't believe Yajirobe fell down. Because he was looking for ice cream. I bet it's ice cream. Uh, am I there yet? This place actually looks peaceful. Hey, Goku! Uh, uh, here! Uh, no, no, uh, up here! Look up! Uh? If you find the water, return to this exact spot and I'll pull you back up again. That's awesome. You can stick the power pole on the ground to mark it. That's a good idea. Right. That's what I would well, do. Well, see you later. <laughs> The days of impetuous youth. <laughs> I'm glad that I'm old. He's gonna go take a nap. I forget, was Corrin like a thousand years old or something? Like so old, like ancient. Yeah. Yajirobe, I forgot. You! Yajirobe! I got some fudge! Fudge? He wishes he could have that. Oh. Pull his ass it's out. <laughs> in here. Seriously. But it doesn't look as bad as I thought. In fact, I can see a path up ahead. I love how shiny uh, every surface is. Yajirobe, you said you weren't coming. Did you change your mind? Huh? I didn't have a choice. Did you fall in by mistake? No. You could say that. See ya. I'm going back up. I wish you could stay. I'd like some company. Uh, wait up. It's too cold in here. If I stay much longer, I'll turn into an ice cube. Well, he's going the wrong way. How the heck is Yajiro be going to get out of here by himself? I feel like he's incompetent. He won't be able to do it. Listen, Yajirobe. Don't try to I talk want to me be proven out of this, wrong. Goku. What I do is none of your business. But the pot's in the other direction. <laughs> 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 Why didn't you say so earlier? I'm not getting stuck in an ice maze for anybody. I don't even like cold food. Uh? Are you sure we're going the right way? Oh uh? no, this is the maze. Someone sure picked a funny place for a monument. Hmm. Oh, I think it keeps changing. That's strange. What's strange is I don't remember passing these on the way in. Are you sure you know where we're headed? Mm -hmm. Whoa. Stupid ice. I'm so <laughs> intrigued by this. Is that one of the warriors I that tried attempting? Story, but if mm -hmm. we stick around here, we're gonna end up like him. Right. Let's go. What did that? <laughs> They're getting spooked out. 
It's Broly. Kakarot. I would love that. No, it's not Broly. <laughs> that Broly's not even canon. Yet. I'm talking about the original crazy Broly. The actual Broly from the Super movie is canon. Yeah. He hasn't happened in the anime yet. That's what you're talking about. What's going on? This is darkness. I've got a bad feeling about this. Whoa. It's a Yeti. <laughs> Goku's casually going to pull up to this thing like, excuse me, mister. He's going to be like, do you know where the water a, is? Yeah, <laughs> or, you're mean. Here's a Kamehameha to your chest. Why do you fight us? It doesn't speak English. Here by darkness? Wow, that thing is so powerful. Uh oh. It's creating a blizzard. Time to make some ice cubes. Watch a sword break You're or something. Be sorry you messed with Yajirobe. He's so brave in Dragon Ball. No way. Oh, wow. I can't believe that just happened. I'm impressed. <laughs> That's just impossible. It's reforming its head. <laughs> it's like Cell or Majin Buu. <clears throat> or even King Piccolo, right? Yeah, they all have that quality. I think Sensei Toriyama, rest in peace, really loved that ability. Take that! didn't phase him at all. He's too strong. I would just run away at this point. I got it. Yeah. Yes. I totally yeah. saw this coming from a mile away. I love how you saw the thought cross his mind through his facial expression. Nothing? Oh. <laughs> He killed the darkness. Or he awakened it. Who dares wake me from my gold slumber? It sounds like Piccolo's voice it's actor, Chris. Human. It will suffer. They will all suffer who trespass on my domain. Oh no. Now they have a bigger problem. Whoa. Is it getting bigger? <laughs> Are those sensu beans? I can't he hoarded them. them. <laughs> He's so funny. He had a handful. Goku just saved his life. This is so fun, the way they're sliding. <laughs> <laughs> He's using Yajirobe as a toboggan. <laughs> this is hilarious. I'm really enjoying this episode. It feels like an adventure. It's like a Mario Party minigame. <laughs> That's the thing, Dragon Ball GT kind of went for this vibe, but it couldn't capture it just like Dragon Ball did. I think you're right about that. I think a part of the reason why GT gets so much hate is because Goku's supposed to be older and more experienced. Even though he's in his kid form. 
our kid body. I also think Pan is a little bit annoying in the show. I also don't like Trunks' outfit, but again, as I always say, GT really had some good concepts in there, and it's very close to what Dragon Ball is. Like, it's more adventure-oriented. Yes. It was a very good attempt at combining Dragon Ball and Dragon Ball Z. Grandma? Hold on. Hold on. Thank you. I never expected kindness from a stranger. Your help makes the end bearable. Don't no. say such a thing. Never give up on hope. Yes, there is hope. I see it in your eyes. Goku! Like I was saying before, Why did we that were guy interrupted, die? sire, the cooks are completely inadequate. The they can't bullet. even perform the simplest of tasks. Probably bounced off a of Piccolo <laughs> and ricocheted back on him. Things taste better from scratch. Murderer! Oh, she's gonna pick up the gun pick up the gun. Dude. She's brave. Boom, headshot. Come on. Here we go. The suspense. <gasps> no. No. no! <laughs> Please no. What a moron. That is horrible. Oh. How did she survive? Oh. Huh? That scared me. Oh, he missed or he was just aiming for that guy? He was just trying to scare her, maybe. He's got it down. It's looking really good. I was wondering, will we ever see the crane again? I don't know. I failed. Maybe the crane could help him. I don't think anybody's going to be able to help Tian at this point. I said he got it down because I saw the green, but he totally missed the jar that he was supposed to what is this throw the place? blast into. Where are we? Yajirobe! Yajirobe! Wake up, Yajirobe! Come on! Wake up! Wake up, Yajirobe! Get up! Come on! Come on! Ah. Is he gonna hit Yajirobe? <laughs> <laughs> that was crazy. What's the big idea? Goku! That's cold! You didn't save him. Wow, that was great! We escaped the snow beast thanks to you. I haven't gone that fast since I last rode my Nimbus. Too bad you can't fly. Would you be quiet? What are you And he never will for? learn to fly. It wasn't like I had a choice. Is there a sign on me that says passengers welcome? <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe that. Yajirobe was sliding as fast as the Nimbus was flying. <laughs> oh no. Humans have disturbed my slumber. They trespass at their own peril. Sorry, Who the heck is bad, this? But thanks. Whatever. Sounds now like the nine tailed we fox. Are. We'll never find the pot down here, and it's all your fault. Uh. Hmm. Okay, then we'll head for the water. No way. I'm going to find my way home, and that's that. You're in this deep. Just get the water while you're there. I wonder if the water is a metaphor of some sort. Like just training against darkness? Yeah, and being in this place just makes you stronger. Oh, there's a lot of them. Yes, sir. Whoa! It's Master Roshi. Why is Dude, he here? This is totally like a weird dimension where like... Has Master Roshi returned? What other sensational mysteries lurk in the darkness? What a freaking what twist! Peril will they bring Goku and Yajirobe? Find out next time 
on Dragon Ball. Man, I cannot wait to watch the next episode. We've actually seen something like this in Dragon Ball Super where Goku and Krillin enter this weird realm and they fight against like all of the past enemies like Frieza, Cell, and Boo. But on a side note, Madison and I created something really special for you guys. I want you to check it out when it comes out and it's going to release real soon. It'll be on this channel right over here. And when it comes out and you guys end up liking the video, please consider subscribing to that channel. If we can get the YouTube algorithm to push that video, we'll definitely be making more of those in the future. And if you like that content, please make sure to send it to all of your friends. Madison and I spent over three months getting that video out. But that being said, we'll see you guys on the next exciting episode. Thank you so much for tuning in. Stay tuned and peace out. Bye.